Did you know that according to science, you only have to do three exercises three times a week for one month to beat back pain permanently? So this is the paper I'm citing. And according to this paper, there are two main factors in the development of back pain. One is lack of strength, but the second one is lack of neuromuscular control, meaning you have all the strength, but you can't control it. Um, and too many programs you find online focus on strength, but not on the control part. And it's not that dissimilar to having a Ferrari 458 with a 4.4 liter engine, but no steering wheel. Lovely, but you can't control it. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share two really effective exercises to build up the strength in your back, but also an exercise that helps with the neuromuscular control in the back. So you control the strength that you've created. And you know what the best thing is? You only have to do this three times a week for one month to see a significant change in your back pain. Okay, let's get started. Now, before I'm going to show you these exercises, I'd like to give you a very quick one minute lesson in anatomy. And why is that? The more you understand, the better the results. So the muscle we're going to focus on initially is called the transverse abdominis. And it's a muscle that wraps itself around your waist and plays a very, very important role in stabilizing your lower back. Now, um, let me demonstrate to you what it is. This, imagine, this is your transverse abdominis, this muscle that sits around your waist. You can see if it's loose, there's absolutely no stabilization whatsoever. So what we need to do is make sure we can tighten it. And by tightening it, we're stabilizing the lower back. It wraps itself around, acts like scaffolding for the lower back. So that's what we need to do. So the first stage in activating this transverse abdominis muscle is by sucking in our belly button. So don't focus on the top bit, focus on the lower part of your tummy. It's actually the same thing what you do, what you focus on when you do your zip up from your jeans or your trousers. When you do your zip up, you suck in that lower part of your, of your belly and you pull your belly button towards your spine. And that's how you activate the transverse abdominis. And that's going to be the basis for our exercises. Okay, let's continue. The first exercise I'm going to show you is called the dead bug. And it might look easy, but looks can be deceiving. And I think this exercise is going to be too hard for the majority of you. Let's see if you can do it. So, first of all, lay on the ground and draw your belly button in. It's what we've done before. Imagine doing your zip up and you draw your belly button towards your spine and make sure that your lower back firmly touches the ground. So doing this, activate your transverse abdominis. So this is stage number one. Now raise your arms and legs to 90 degrees with a 90 degree angle in the knees. And the first stage of this exercise is to just lower one of the arms, but always keep your back firmly on the ground and by sucking your belly button in. Now, if this goes well, you go to the second stage where you keep your arms in the air, but now you straighten out one of your legs. And again, keep your lower back firmly on the ground and suck the belly button in. If you can do this, you move on to the third stage where you lower one leg and the opposite arm. Same thing, make sure that your lower back firmly touches the ground and suck the belly button in. So for frequency, what we're going to do is we're going to use the descending pyramid from a guy called Stuart McGill. And he's like the guru when it comes to back pain. And the descending pyramid means that you do five, three, and one repetition, but you hold each repetition for eight to 10 seconds. You rest between each set for 20 to 30 seconds. And if this becomes easier, what you need to do is you need to increase the amount of repetitions rather than the duration of the holds. Now, if this becomes too easy, just change the amount of repetitions. So you go to 642 or 864. And the beauty is you only have to do this three times a week to really decrease the lower, pain, lower back pain. Now, what I suggest you do as well is you test yourself to make sure you're doing it right. Use your partner or use a friend. Tuck a towel or resistance band in the small of your back and make sure that there's constant pull on that band. And you can imagine if you start arching your back and don't hold the position properly, this band or the resistance band 
or the towel will pull out, come out, and you know you've done it wrong. So the dead bug exercise, which I've just shown you, focuses on the muscle of the front. But you also need an exercise that focuses on your, what we call the oblique abdominal muscles that sit more on the side. And these muscles also play a very important role in stabilizing your lower back and decreasing your back pain. Now, if you look at the research, the best exercise to do is the side plank. And there are four stages to the side plank. I'm going to go through them with you now. So the first stage is a side plank where you have your elbow bend and your knees bend. And the second stage is you have your elbow bend but your knees straight. The third stage is you have your elbow straight but your knees bend. And the last stage is you have your elbow straight and your knees straight. Now what you need to be able to do for each stage is you need to be able to hold the side plank for 10 seconds and do three repetitions with a 15 second break between the reps. Now once you're able to do that, you move on to the other side and you do exactly the same thing. So this last exercise is going to wrap everything up for you. So you've now done two exercises that have increased the strength of your back, but now we need to add this neuromuscular control. So we're going to add the steering wheel that can steer your power in the right direction, thereby reducing your back pain. And the exercise we're going to use for this is called the bird dog. Now, a little side note before I start with the exercise and demonstrate it to you. I really enjoy making these videos for you. And if you found some value in it, if you enjoyed watching it, would you mind just leaving me a quick comment, a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Okay, let's do the exercise, the bird dog. So we need to begin on all fours in a tabletop position. Your knees need to be under your hips and your hands need to be under your shoulders. The first thing we need to do is draw in that belly button towards your spine, which activates this transverse abdominus. So like doing your zip up, that's a, bit of your, that's a bit of your core muscles you need to activate. Now it's important to keep your spine neutral, so don't bend it and don't arch it. Now in this position, you're going to raise your right arm and extend your left leg. And it's important to keep your shoulders and your hips parallel to the floor. So I'd want no twisting and turning. And the other common mistake we often see is that patients overarch the lower back. So keep it neutral, don't overarch it. Now in this position, try to lengthen your left leg by pushing it back, pushing it away from you and push up through this right arm. And remember, no torsion, no twisting, keeping the shoulders and the hips parallel to the floor. Now we're going to use the descending pyramid again for, for this exercise. So we're going to do five, three, and one repetition. You hold each repetition for about eight to 10 seconds. Uh, and then you take a 20 to 30 second break after each set. And again, if this becomes too easy for you, increase the, uh, the repetitions. So then go from six, four, two, or go eight, eight six, four. Now once you've done this, do the same thing with, the, with your left arm and your right leg. And again, total, in total, do this three times a week. So thank you for watching. I hope you found some value in this video. Uh, we've, there's loads more of these kind of videos on our YouTube channel, uh, videos on sciatica, how to sleep with sciatica, what to do with the slip disc, some general exercise for the low back. I mean, you can find all sorts on our channel, so just hop over there. Um, so for me, I want to say bye-bye for now. Take care of yourself. Take care of someone else as well if you can. And uh, good luck. Bye-bye.